Hi, boys and girls. My name is Melanie, and I'll be your teacher for today. Welcome to Brain Bank. Today, we're going to talk about tools. Do you know what tools are? Yes. This is a tool, and this is a tool, and these are tools. And we use tools to do things to fix things, to build things, to cut things. We use tools for many different things. Okay, so this is a boy with many tools. And what is this called down here where he keeps all his tools? Does anybody know? Yes, that's right. We call it a tool belt. This is a tool belt. You can wear it around your waist and put your tools inside. Okay, next we have the same boy. He's in action. He's ready to build something, it looks like. And does anyone know what this tool is called? What do we call that tool? That's right. It is a hammer. And we use a hammer to pound, pound nails. Looks like he is using a hammer to build a house. Oh, and now we have another little boy, but he is doing something different. Does anyone know what tool he's using? What do we call this tool? That's right. It's called a wrench. This is a wrench. And what do we use a wrench for? That's right. We use it to tighten something, maybe a nut. In his case, he's tightening the tire of his bicycle so he can ride it. And up here we have some other tools as well. We have a hammer. We have, it looks like, some more wrenches and a stapler. Very good. Now, tools help us do jobs. Can you say it with me? Tools help us do jobs. Very good. Oh, what a cute little boy. He is getting his hair cut. So what tool is that? Who knows what it's called? Yes, that tool is called scissors. Oops. Scissors. And scissors are used to cut. Cut hair, cut many different things, right? So, scissors are used to cut. Wow, this is another type of tool. They are in a garden, and this tool is very big. Does anyone know the name of that tool? Yes, this tool is called a shovel. A shovel. And what do we use a shovel for? We use a shovel to dig, like this. So up here we have many different gardening tools, but most of them are used for digging, right? So some tools are good for digging. Let's say it together. Some tools are good for digging. Very nice. Oh, I bet you know what he's doing. He is writing. Maybe he's doing his homework or studying for a test. Do you do your homework and study for tests? I hope so. So what is he using to do that? What tool is that? Yes, that's an easy one. That is a pencil. Everyone knows what a pencil is. So 
What do we use a pencil for? For writing. And we also use these tools for writing as well. Pencils, markers, pens, all for writing. So, some tools are good for writing. Can we try that all together? I want to hear you. Some tools are good for writing. Very nice. Oh, wow, this looks fun. They are in the kitchen and they are using a tool here. It's kind of hard to see because it's a little bit messy. But what tool is that? They are using a mixer to mix the batter. Maybe they are making cookies or bread. So we call that a mixer. Yes, and these are also different kinds of mixers that you might see in the kitchen. So, some tools are good for mixing, just like the girl is using in the bowl. So let's try it all together, okay? Some tools are good for mixing. Excellent job. Oh, here's another kind of tool. I think we talked about this one. Maybe you remember. What tools are these? They are used for cutting. Yes, these are called scissors. Scissors are used for cutting. Some tools are good for cutting. Can we try that all together? Some tools are good for cutting. Yes, and this boy and girl are cutting paper. Looks like they're making something, maybe for their mom. And up here, we have some other tools that are also used for cutting. This is a saw, a knife, and some shears. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to play a game. Do you like to play games? So do I. Okay, so in this game, we have a row of tools and a row of different objects. We have to match the tool with the object we use it for. Are you ready? I want you to help me out. So the first one is called a grater. Have you ever seen a grater before? Maybe you've seen your mom use it in the kitchen. You hold it like this and you take something and go like this and it makes small pieces. So what could we use with the grater? Hmm. Flowers? No, we don't want to ruin the flowers. Oh, tomatoes, a can of tomatoes. That's food in the kitchen. No, we can't use a grater on a can. Ah, cheese. I heard someone say cheese, and you are correct. The grater is used with cheese. Next, do you remember what this tool is? Yes, these are the shears. Those are the shears. And what do we use shears for? For cutting, right? I think I remember that picture in the garden picture. And what did we use to cut in the garden? Ah, yes, the flowers. Very good. You're all very smart. Okay, next we have, can you tell what this one is? A can opener. And maybe you've seen your mom or dad use it in the kitchen. You hold it, you put something in and you twist, and then it opens it up. So what do we need to open over here? The cheese? No. Ah, the can of tomatoes. Can opener? Can. Ah, that's a simple one. Okay, next we have a screwdriver. Oh. And a screwdriver is used to twist your wrist like this and ah, 
saw, yes. We use it with screws. We use it to tighten screws. Very good. And finally, does anyone know what that tool is called? Yes, that tool is called a wrench. This was the tool that the boy was using to fix his bicycle. Do you remember? Yes, so the wrench is used for, what do we have left? Ah, this one up here. That's called a nut, and that helps us tighten something. So we use the wrench to tighten something, maybe the tire of a bicycle, okay? So let's draw a line from the wrench all the way up to the nut. Very good. Did you have fun today? I did too. That was a really good game and you did so well. So I hope to see you next time. Study hard and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.